Hi there everyone, it's time for beer number four. This one's called Etna. It's uh, a blood orange ghost. I don't, I don't know how to pronounce that. I've never had a beer called that before, let alone, I mean, I've had other ones with blood orange flavoring, like a citrus flavoring. Um, but yeah, this one, this one is a little bit, uh, I think new to me. I don't think I've tried one of these. So, um, well, I haven't tried, um, definitely from the Red Church. So, um, yeah, let's give it, let's give it a go. It's got a bit of a hazy color. Looks pretty nice. Sorry about the Peroni glass. It's obviously not Peroni. It's a, it's a better beer. Uh, I don't mind Peroni every now and then, but uh, oh yeah, definitely lots of lots of uh, citrusy orange notes on it. Let's see what it tastes like. Yeah, no, that's really really nice on the. On the the palate, um, it's not an overbearing citrusy flavor. It's just like a refreshing citrusy flavor. But yeah, no, I could I could definitely pound back a few of these in the, in the garden today. Um, my last video that I shot in the garden was pretty popular, so I figured I'd I'd try another one try another one in the garden. But the sun is going down because it's getting later in the day. But there you go. Cheers, everybody. That's my fourth beer. Another tasty one. Hi again. Just another quick note about um, this beer. Um, I will say that sour beers are definitely not my favorite type of beer. Um, I had one when I was back um, in Canada um, in the summer last year. And, uh, yeah, I wasn't, wasn't too fussed on it. Um, this one was okay and then I had it with some uh, Mexican food and uh, it took it up a notch and actually it tasted really good with the Mexican food so some beers you pair it with something and the flavor just matches with it and it's quite a bit tastier so yeah I just thought I'd thought I'd add that so cheers <laughs> 